I wish I knew. Welcome back to My Husband is My Best Friend. Carlissa speaks on her issues with blue face father Jonathan Michael. Well, there's some liars in this world, boy. There's some liars out here, child. <laughs> that ninja couldn't tell y'all what junior high or high school my son went to. The only reason he know what college he went to is because I invited him. I was nothing but nice to you. I've never spoke anything down or negative. I never told your son you was a bum ass, homeless ass, drunk ass. I never told my son what you really was and what you was really about. And then he had to find out the hard way when you robbed him. Literally robbed him. I'm going to interview your family. I'm going to interview JC and I'm going to interview Suzette. I'm going to interview your daughters too. We're going to let the people know. I don't know why y'all keep trying to come for me and my character. Like it's common sense, I did my mother job. I got the high school diploma, asked him if he was the daddy, why don't he got it? My daddy got mine, your daddy got yours, right? <laughs> I got the high school diploma, all three of them upstairs, ain't nobody asked for him, ain't nobody asked for a copy of him. He couldn't tell you what my son's GPA was when he graduated. I included him and involved him like a mother should. That man literally sat in my face and told me he couldn't stand that red ass girl and she was going to take his son down. That's why he up over there. Now tell the lady the truth. You don't like her. You don't like what she stand for. Tell her what you told me and Jaden when we went over there. Stop faking and stop lying. If I start posting your real ass text messages, letting her know how you really feel about her. Why you really up over there? Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. It's just becoming a nuisance. Now, if you wanted some clout, you could have just asked for it. I would have just gave you some. You ain't seen them other daughters of yours or them other grandkids of yours in a month, a year of Sundays. Because you don't give a fuck about them because they ain't got no clout and they ain't got no money. Who have a whole daughter and don't fuck with that babe, grandbaby, but you over there with Riri messing with her. <laughs> good job Krishan not giving him no clout girl cause as soon as you give it to him he gonna rob your ass just like he did his own son good job not posting his page and giving him what he want cause I ain't posting it neither I would have just gave you the shit when my son graduated high school he was on my husband's my husband's make sure y'all get this now because if i gotta go pull the records i will on my husband's medical and dental insurance now why the fuck are you anywhere near anybody asking for anything if my husband that you say is getting ready to leave me had your child on medical and dental paying for your son's medical and dental we just trying to figure out where the hell you, which rock you done crawled up out of. Now we know you were stand up over there with them, with that illegal immigrant lady. Most of your life trying to trick that lady into doing what you say do to get her them papers. You didn't love that lady neither. You were just over there trying to have her be a slave, an illegal immigrant slave for you. I talked to the lady. I know what you did to her up over there making her do all this this and that for you cuz so she could get some fucking illegal some legal paperwork shame on you for coming on here trying to talk badly about me knowing that you thanked me thanked me and honored me for raising your child to be such a good stand up citizen and getting him a college degree and getting him what your mama didn't get you now his mama left him at 15 years old in the house, an empty abandoned house. She left him there. So, and his daddy was a kid. So why it, it, he lucked up on me because he had a big so-and-so and a fake ass I'll be sure smile, okay? And I felt bad for him at the time. But don't get on here and try to act like you was on my level. You wasn't nowhere ever allowed nowhere I was at or my kids was at. Now get on here and tell these people the truth. I'm here talking about my husband leaving me. If my husband leave me, who gonna pay? Who gonna pay for your son's uh, dent, uh, dental and uh, insurance? 
that just fell off when he turned 28. Now, don't make me get on here and tell the truth. You don't know where my son went to school in junior high. You can't tell these people what insurance I used to have his knee fixed. And I didn't just have my son knee fixed, y'all. I had my son knee fixed at UCL motherfucking A. So if you know, you know. Okay, he didn't go to the little Cigna plan, the little bullshit with the Medi-Cal. No, sir. <laughs> we had good insurance then, too. Okay, my son got his knee fixed at UCLA. Now, ask that mother did he talk to anybody in the billing department? Which person did you talk to? Okay, because every time they brought a bill, your ass ran out. This mother showed up, no lie, my right hand, left hand to God. Showed up to get my baby size with a, with a motherfucking piggy bank. It was only $150. He showed up with a piggy bank. And then tried to argue with me about getting my tubes tied. I'm not never having another kid for somebody to show up with a piggy bank full of coins to get the decision for $150. You're done. We're done having children here. So yes, I got my tubes tied. And he, because he was my husband... He tried to argue with me and tell me he wasn't signing that paper and his sister signed it for me. Hello, somebody. So, yes, my tubes were tied. Yes, you wasn't no getting no more kids out of me. You was right. They was tied. <laughs> you didn't know. Joke's on you, mother. You wasn't getting no more sons out of me. You couldn't pay for the first one. Okay, I had to find somebody to help do that shit. Okay, you're illiterate. Your family's illiterate. You came from illiterate stock. Stop acting like you somebody you not. Now, I ain't never, ever said nothing bad about you in front of my son because I didn't want him to know he came from a piece of shit background. Now, I did you a favor. I let you come stay at my house when you was homeless, even though I had a man in there. My son said, my daddy outside in the car and he ain't got nowhere to go and it's cold outside. I let your motherfucking ass come and get in my son's twin bed with him. Now, my other kids can vouch for this because they was there too. I let your ass come into my house and you get on this motherfucking internet and try to dog somebody that let you lay your motherfucking ass down. My husband upstairs sleep. We finna celebrate our eighth anniversary. We ain't going nowhere. We the only motherfuckers in the circus with stability, okay? We the only motherfuckers that's watching this whole bullshit play out because we've been there for all our motherfucking kids the whole way through. My husband didn't even have matching socks when I met him, paying two bitches child support and letting the mother and one of the kids live with him. Okay, that's what real men do. Now, I don't know what the fuck Jonathan daddy was running around doing, but he wasn't doing what my husband was doing. Okay, I met my husband in Jonathan's junior year of high school. He immediately put him on his medical and his dental so that my son could go to college like the rest of the people with medical insurance and dental insurance. So somebody could keep on talking they shit and keep on walking. But my husband know the truth and that's the only person in this world and him and God that matter, okay? Thanks for tuning in to My Husband is My Best Friend.